Today, we're talking about prioritization. Today, I want to talk about a little bit about how I think about prioritization of not only projects, but when you get overwhelmed and you're doing some million different things and you have a million expectations on you, you know, what can we do to try to mitigate some of that and how can we figure out how to make the best out of the situation where we're feeling uh, overwhelmed and maybe even you're not even to the point where you're overwhelmed yet but you just have so many things going on and you're not sure where to put your attention. So something that I've been trying to do uh, recently for me and that I am borrowing from a lot of other people that have talked about this but is to try to think about which of all the things, all the projects, all the places where your energy is being put, which of those things, if you focus on that one of them, will allow you to kind of knock down the rest of them. And by knock down the rest of them, I mean like which one will affect the rest in a positive way? Which one will allow you to take the next steps the fastest? So for example, if uh, you are an instrumentalist and you're working on your own music and you're working on music for other people and you're uh, trying to organize a whole bunch of different projects you know the thing is if you don't take care of your business meaning yourself if you don't take care of your instrument you don't take care of the basics the fundamentals getting better all the time any of the other stuff that you're doing when you get uh, for example out of school if you're in school right now is going to it's not going to matter because if you don't take care of what the number one thing is uh, whatever your major is whatever your most important thing is if it's your company your business uh, your band your ensemble your chamber group whatever it is if you don't take care of that one thing the thing you care about the most all the rest of the stuff is going to fall away so i'm not saying to abandon everything else but to prioritize the things that matter to you to prioritize the things that are going to allow you to get all the things done so if you for me if i take care of what i need to take care of in a day to feel good, to feel like I cross everything off my list, or at least to feel good about the things that I did, which is you know, practice, take care of business at home, and inside of you, take care of yourself, and think about yourself first, because a lot of people I know think about all the external expectations, and they just get caught in this constant cycle of not being able to take care of themselves, not being able to get done, get done things for other people, which makes them feel even more stressed, and not take care of the things that they need to take care of for themselves, it kind of proliferates this kind of circular uh, downward spiral, if you will. And we don't want anyone to get there. We want everyone to kind of get out of that, break the pattern, and start to focus on what they want out of their situation. So whatever your situation is, whatever you're working on, think about prioritizing the tasks that are going to get you the furthest. You know, 80% of the way there, uh, whatever the things are that you need to do for yourself, uh, that are going to allow you to take care of everything else. So for me, those things are right now uh, working out, making sure to practice my instrument, like that being trombone. And if I don't take care of the basics on both of those, there's no chance for me uh, to be energetic enough to get all of the other projects I'm doing, all of the nonprofit stuff, all the outside of the music stuff, all the teaching stuff that I do. There's no way if I don't take care of myself for me to do all that. So I encourage you in this very hectic time of year to start to think about how you're gonna take care of yourself and how you can balance everything by prioritizing the projects that are gonna go the longest way. So thanks for being here. We're here every single Friday with an episode of Create, Connect, Repeat. We're glad you're here. Click the button down below to subscribe and see lots of great stuff every week. If you're interested in the artists on Outside of Music, head over to outsideofmusic.com and see all the new releases. I'm very proud that we've released almost 20 records in 2018 with hopefully a similar amount of high quality releases coming in 2019 as well as the launch of Next Level. Next Level is the first step, the kind of the foundational step for people that want to release their first record, uh, try to get some experience, some exposure, figure out what it means to put together a record, get that first project out into the world. So that's Next Level, that'll be coming uh, hopefully beginning of 2019 or at least sometime in the year. So that was a long exit. But thank you for being here. We'll see you back here in just a week.